Hello, and welcome to Success Sunday, 7 of 12. We are continuing the conversation around your annual written plan. You all, at this point, have gone to my website to download the goals wheel from resources and tools, or you've created your own system, because remember, this is just a tool. Of the eight categories of life that we can discuss, today we're discussing your career and vocation. Before I discuss specifically ideas around career and vocation, let me remind you of resources available to you. The entire book, The Happiness Formula, is the formula to achieve the highest level of success, wealth, health, happiness in every area of your life. So this thought process, the logic, the understanding absolutely applies to your career and vocation. Not only beyond that, it's just the fact that this book is a resource, given it's a research book, specifically talking about career and success and leadership and wealth, all those variables that apply to a career. So at CassandraVataka.com, you can learn more about this book, you order it from Amazon. There are a series of webinars, success and leadership series on resources webinars. I want to point out a couple in particular. One is the webinar on annual planning, right? So if you haven't watched it as of yet, this 7th, 8th, ninth episode here of Success Sunday, it's time to kind of go look at that one. Another webinar that I've mentioned a couple of times possibly or more is the seminar on strategic time control. When it comes to how do I get more, achieve more, do more in my career, the very common response is, I don't have the time, I'm working my tail off already. How do I do more, get more, be more within my career or even pursue another op opportunity. And strategic time control talks about the, the response in your mind of, I don't have the time. Because the reality is, folks, you do. It's an issue of prioritization. So how do you look at time strategically so you can therefore pursue that which you really want to so you can have the highest level of health, love, success, happiness? Another so there's that, the strategic time control. There's obviously the annual planning. There's the entire success and leadership series on the website. Also the secrets of success, right? The secrets of the radically successful. Again, I mentioned in the book, in the back, there are, so the first 170 pages, right, about sort of the formula itself and how to think it through. The last 100 pages is really how does the happiness formula apply in various areas? One of those is annual planning. One of those is your wealth. One of those is your relationships. Uh, one of those is sort of how you think about, again, success. Lots of tools available. And not to mention, hello, this is what I do for a living, which is speaking, teaching, coaching. So when it comes to your career, there's probably about three categories that people have when they think about career. One is how do I uh, rise higher in the ranks in my current position, right? How do I get more, do more, achieve more? So there's a lot of different activities that you can pursue that you will help propel you to those higher levels. One is you have to know what those levels look like. Really, what does it look like? Have you had a conversation with people at the level you think you wanna be at? I wanna be that level. Have you actually sat down and had a realistic conversation? Maybe that's one of your goals. One of your plans and career is to go have a realistic conversation with somebody who's in a job you think you really want, the position you think you want. And then to ask, what's it gonna to take to get me there? More likely than not, probably it's gonna require some certifications, some, some learning, some, some soft skills. Again, you have to know what it takes and therefore you need to figure that out first. You might also, so there's a lot of things that can happen from degrees, certifications, just information you need to get at and then a time frame for actually mapping it out. So you can achieve that and therefore rise to that level. If it's possible for you within that company, maybe you need to look at other companies. Then there's the group of you who really want to establish that plan B, really maybe want to get out of this career and move into another one. So again, do you really know what that plan looks like? Do you really know what that career looks like? Have you gone and done the research on, have you found people to ask them, what does your job really look like? In particular, a lot of people want to know about what it takes to be an entrepreneur so you can run your own business. It's a smart move from a wealth perspective. A lot of what happens in your career piece of pie, it overlaps with your wealth pie. And so this is some of the good news is that those pieces start to overlap. And hopefully at this point, you're seeing that. Because think about it, even your, your desire within, maybe you decide that, hey, I've got to nail this vocational thing this year. 
it's going to overlap in your wealth pie. It's going to slice of your pie. It's going to overlap in your uh, educational slice of your pie. So there's overlap here, and that's a good thing. So again, maybe you need to go find out what it takes to be an entrepreneur. Maybe you need to go pursue what hit up one of your friends who's been hitting you up to be part of their nutritional MLM or their uh, makeup, you know, networking marketing corporation or whatever they peddle. Pursue it. Consider pursuing a small side business because it'll teach you a lot about yourself. When it comes to career and vocation, there's a lot that can go on in this department for you to write in terms of a plan. But in particular, please make sure you participate in the first piece of that, which is get the information. Seek out the people who are in those positions, have those jobs and ask them what's it really like. And then examine, how do you really feel about that? Uh, are you really ready to do what it's gonna take? And finally, you know, what is your underlying belief system about who you are, who you should be, who you wanna be? And is all of that matching that? So this has been uh, your vocational career success Sunday. And I pray that if this is an area that is on your mind for 2021, that you tap into all the resources I've told you about and even reach out to me and let's talk. Maybe we need to do some one-on-ones. Ciao.